sister. Father, how are you? How are you doing, my little son? Where is your sister? I'm hungry. Can I eat? Yes, father. going to pray. I will, Father. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings. Amen. Okay, you can eat. I want to get the food first. Okay, you can get the food first. He'll wait for you. My work is very hard. Who cooked this food? Him. I congratulate you. This food is very good. Thank you, Father. How about you? What did you do this afternoon? Mm, watch TV. Oh my goodness. Did you even think to wash the clothes? Okay. This weekend, we are going to shoot some birds. Really, Father? Which forest, Father? At the back of the capital. Ew! Is it illegal to shoot some birds? No, no, no. I have a permit. Even my gun has a permit. What about going out today, Father? Okay, we can go out after we eat. How about you? Do you want to join us? No, thanks. I'm busy. Are you sure? Yes. Beyond the evil girl in a grass field they spotted a covey of brown people. Hey father, look! There's a lot of pigeons in the sky. Yes son, I can see. So let me teach you how to use this gun. It's been a while since I've used it. In the open, the pigeon kept spring to the air and gliding away every time they were within range. But finally, the pigeons dropped to the ground inside a wedge of trees. His father pressed his shoulder and he stopped. Then slowly, in a half crouch, they advanced. The breeze rose lightly. The grasses coughed against his legs. His father stopped again. He knelt down and held his hand. Now you try. Wait for the birds to rise and then you fire. Yes, father. This is too heavy. My arm muscles twitch. His mouth was dry, he felt vaguely sick, and he wanted to sit down. You forgot to spit. His father told him that hunters always spot for luck before firing. He spot and saw the breeze bend the rug. Thus he threads of his spittle toward the birds. That's good. So we just throw a stone? It's taking me a long time. No, you have to wait. One of the birds whistle and they carry this purse like seeds thrown in the wind. Dave fired and his body shook with the first momentary life of the rifle. Not bad! Suddenly, a small dog came tearing across the, the grass and the small trees. Hey dad! Look! There's a dog! Dad, come here! May I keep him, father? Well, I'm not sure that dog belongs to somebody. May I keep him until his owner comes to him? He's a good pointer, but I don't want my son to be accused of dog stealing. Oh no! I should return him when the owner comes to claim him. Sure! I hope that dog makes a good hunter out of you. The dog and Dave became fast friends. He named him Birio. One day, in a street, Dave and his friends were playing Birio, while his sister Delia were busy talking to her friends. Hey! Look! I have a new pet! What is his name? Can we play with him? Yes! Of course! I called him Birio! Hmm? 
my god, so irritating! Delia, that dog is so Shoo. annoying! Shh. Let me handle it. Brother, come here! Faster! I don't want to see that dog again in the house. I tell Berto to kill the dog if I see it around again. Do you understand? Let's go! His sister was the meanest creature he knew. His sister wa was eight when he was born, the day that their mother died. One of his solid memories was of standing in his sister's playhouse. He picked up the dog. He tried to bend one of the arm, but it accidentally snapped. Then he saw his sister coming, so he hid quickly under the desk. It's time to play with my dog. Hmm, where is it? Brother, mm -hmm. what are you doing there? I'm just playing hide and seek. Have you seen my doll? No. But I just placed it here. Just just come here. What are you hiding? No, it's nothing. Let me see it, please. It's secret. Please, brother. Hmm, sister. I have something to tell you. I'm sorry, I accidentally de destroyed doll. Delia snatched the dog from Dave, and when she saw the break arm, she gasped. What did you do? No, I'm just trying to. <gasps> sister, sister, wake up, wake up. Father, father, father. She came back from the hospital in the city, pale and quiet and mean. Nothing he did ever please her. She destroyed willfully anything they liked. At first, he took it as a process of adaptation. But later on, he realized that it had become a habit with her. Dave did not say anything, but Delia told her father she didn't like his pigeons because it is stunk, and he had to give away his pigeon. Do you smell that, father? I think the pigeon stinks. Do you smell that, huh? I'm so sorry, I have a cold. Maybe you're just smelling yourself? <laughs> you really are my son. Are you serious? I think that bird stinks. No, it's not. I don't want that in the house, father, please. But father, it's mine. Son, please understand. Your sister has a heart problem. But it's affecting the lungs, not the heart. It still affects her body. Okay, fine. I think I just need to set it free. Dave have a collection of butterflies. He put it in the living room. Suddenly, his sister saw them. She dumped it into a waste can and burned them. Mm. I have an idea. What did you do? Why did you burn my butterflies? I didn't know. You didn't know? What's that commotion all about? That father! My butterflies! She burned him! But father, they were attracting ants! Oh, since it's burned, I suggest you to put it in the backyard. Okay, father. After that, Abe searched for Virio. Virio! Virio! Come here! Hey, Virio! Dave saw that one of his eyes was bleeding. What happened to your eyes? It's bleeding! After knowing that one of Beryuk's eyes is bleeding, he decided to go home. Hey! Hey, Bertu! What's up? Wait there! Okay! I've got something for you! What is that? It's a centipede! It's large! 
I didn't kill it because I know you love it. Yes, you're right. Thanks, Berto. I have to go now. Okay. After Dave and Berto's conversation, Dave wrapped the centipede with a handkerchief. Dave saw his sister. He unwrapped the centipede and he threw it on her sister's lap. <coughs> You did it. You tried. 